Hey friends and welcome back. So guys, I am here to share yet again another Walgreens haul for this week. So the haul that I did, the transaction I did, we just want to use that as a teachable moment because it did not go according to plan. What I did was a spin deal. The PNG deal this week is spend 20, get 5,000 points. You must spend 20 before coupons and before tax, but after the Walgreens IVC coupon, um, that comes to the monthly little coupon booklet so again before coupons before tax but at the walgreens coupons now typically with a spend deal any season couponer for walgreens will tell you not to use points because if you do you won't get points back with the spend deal however there is a way that you can use points and still get points back this is just one of those things as i always say the more you coupon in a particular store the more um the different type of deals you do more often the more you will learn what works what doesn't work how to make it work blase blase this is just one of those um situations so anyway somebody somebody somewhere somebody back when figured out how you can actually use points to pay for a spend deal and still get points back. This has been floating around the coupon community for quite some time and it works. I have done this several occasions with different type of spend deals and it does in fact work. However, as of today, I am thinking that Walgreens may have caught on to this and may have fixed whatever issue or if it was an issue, I don't know, but they may have fixed it to where it no longer works that way and I'm just saying that based on this one transaction that I did however I'm not saying that it doesn't work it may just have been this particular transaction that we're going but that it still do work hand with points on a spend deal and still getting points back we want to go all into the details of it so again what I used to, what I was doing was the PNG deal spend 20 get 5,000 points I was utilizing points to pay but it did not work so I'm going to take you to the dining room table I'm going to break down everything and how it works with being able to use points to pay and still get points back I'm going to also call customer service after I do this little clip here see what they say about it see about getting my points that I did not get see if I get them issued to me and then see what they say and then we can kind of go from there so I'm going to go through all of that do the whole part of the video and then I'll come back at the end and share with you guys what customer service said um, about the reason I did not get my points. So again, spend deals, typically we will always say we don't use points to pay. We will use retro rewards or cash to pay our out-of-pocket expense to get the points back. However, there is a way that you can use points on the spend deal and still get points back. I have done it plenty of times, but today was the day that it didn't work. So lesson learned moving forward anyways I'm, I'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go call customer service and then we're gonna go to the dining room table and then we're gonna come back and discuss what had happened all right so before we get into the details on here let me quickly just mention i did this here this is one transaction in a separate transaction by itself using register rewards to turn them into points and then I use those points to go ahead and purchase these items here. Now if you did not see that video it went up yesterday day before for you guys. Anyways I'll leave it linked at the end of this video definitely be sure you check it out because I'm just giving you examples of how and why I turn my register rewards into points. All right then before we get into this haul let me quickly share this. So I did the Crest deal again. Now the Crest deal this week is the Crest is on sale for $2.99. Promotion is when you buy three, you get a $7 register reward back. I did this deal on Sunday utilizing the digital coupon on my main account. When I say main account, that just means it's the account that I shop with most often and I have the most amount of points on. So once I use that digital coupon, it is gone. Digital coupons are a one-time use type of thing. Now, I had a digital coupon on another account. So I went ahead and did the Crest deal on that account. Picking up three of them for a price point of $8.97. I used two paper coupons. Paper coupon for this one, paper coupon for this one, and then I used a digital coupon for this one here. Making it $2.97 on this account. I have no points, so I just paid the $2.97 out of pocket, but I did get back the $7 register reward. Now, I, as I said before, I do shop with multiple accounts so that when the deals are there, you can double dip, so on and so forth. But I wanted to mention this to you guys because what I did, 
is when I got the $7 reward back, I used the $7 reward towards this purchase here on my main account. So when I type in my phone number, I'm typing in my phone number from my main account for this transaction here. And I'm using the register reward that I got from a secondary account. When I do the deals on the secondary account, I'm using a different phone number. I'm mentioning this so that you guys can see that register rewards are not linked to any one account. Unlike the CRTs and extra bucks at CVS, they're linked to your phone number. So you can't use them on another account or you can't give them to someone else to use because it's linked to your phone number. Register rewards at Walgreens are not linked to your phone number. So I can give this $7 reward to the customer behind me. They can punch in their phone number at checkout and they can use this reward towards their purchase. I hope that was clear. So I did that on the secondary account and then I found two more Almaids just kind of hiding at the um, beauty counter. I don't know if your if your beauty counter is the same. I'm pretty sure it is, but mine has a like a little acrylic display where they stick, you know, usually like samples or trial size makeup. Anyways, they had a ton of um, Alme and well, they had a ton of Alme mascaras, Revlon, and some physician formula makeup in the little display. So I found these two here. The other ones they had had like a bonus eyeliner, and those were not ringing up two for ten. So I didn't get those. But anyways, always make sure you're checking around the store displays and so on because sometimes they hide stuff. Not on purpose. It's just that they put stuff in random places. So I did the Alme deal again. I got back the $5 register reward for buying two. I did not get back the $10 register reward or a Catalina that had been printed out for the Alme and Revlon. So I don't know. I guess that's a dead deal at this point. Okay, so moving on. So here's the thing. P&G deal this week. Select products are included. The P&G deal is spend 20, get 5,000 points. With spend deals, you must hit that threshold amount and qualifying products and I did just that in the items I picked up for everything I picked up my subtotal was $23.92 now in order to utilize points with a spend deal you have to make sure that your when you pay your form of currency is at least not at least it has to be what the threshold is let me clarify that so the spend deal for this is spend 20. They want you to spend $20, whether that's $20 in coupons, $20 in register rewards, $20 in cash. They want you to spend $20. So as long as the form of currency that you are utilizing equals the threshold amount, in this case is $20, whatever's remaining, you can use points for. One more time. Spend threshold is 20. As long as whatever form of currency you're utilizing equals $20, anything remaining you can use points on and you will still get the points back. However, that did not work this time around. So let me break that down. Here are all the coupons I use. $2 of Tide Liquid, $2 of Tide Pie, a dollar on the um, Charmin, and then I had a dollar off two for the Dawn, a dollar off two for the Dawn. So here's all of my currency. And I'm just putting this out here for a show and tell, y'all. A dollar, that's currency. Register reward, five dollars. That's a form of currency. And then the seven dollar register reward. That's a form of currency for. So all of this here, if you calculate it, equals twenty dollars exactly. So technically, I spent twenty dollars. So I should be able to use the points for any remaining balance. Here's the breakdown. So for everything. $23.92 minus all of my coupons brings me to $15.92 minus my register rewards brings me to $3.92. That's how much I owe the cashier at this point. I'm going to get back 5,000 points for spending 20. However, I did not get my points back. So let's look at the receipt here. Here's the receipt. All of the coupons scanned with no problem. My sub total was $3.92. Tax $0.32 cent and $4.24. So I redeemed 4,000 points paying the $0.24 cent out of pocket. But I did not get the points back for doing the spend deal. So 
I called customer service. She pulled up the transaction. She proceeds to explain that with a spend deal, you cannot use points, but with a buy deal, you can, etc. And then she, I let her continue to talk. Then she continued to say that as long as when you're doing a spend deal, as long as the amount you are paying equals your threshold amount, you are fine. So once she said that, I said, okay, ding, ding, ding. I said, well, the amount that I use in coupons equal exactly $20. She went back into my transaction history. She calculated all of my coupons. She's doing her math and she realized, yes, you're correct. The amount that you use in coupons equals $20. So, yes, you should have gotten the 5,000 points. Then she proceeded to state that if I would have used $3 in points, 3,000 points versus four, then I would have got back the 5,000. So, I don't know. Let's, let's go back to the, let's go back to the breakdown. Subtotal 2392. So, if I would have used only 20, not 20, if I would have used only 3,000 points, that would have left my balance at $20.92. Then I would have used all of my currency here, which is my coupons and my register rewards. That would have left my total out of pocket due 92 cent plus my tax, correct? So with that theory, as she stated, I would have gotten back my 5,000 points because I would have still been at the spend threshold of $20. I hope that made sense. Let's back it up one more time. According to the customer service rep on the phone, the spend threshold of $20 needs to be met with your form of currency. Form of currency includes coupons, cash, and register rewards. And of course, if you pay with a debit or credit card, that is your currency. So I had $20 in coupons. So technically, I should have got back the $5,000, but a current 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 but according to her because I used 4,000 points it brought me under the $20 threshold y'all it don't make any sense to me so what I'm going to do when I get out to pick up the dancing daughter from school I'm going to try this transaction all over again and I'm going to use all of these coupons you see here plus these register rewards and I'm only going to roll 3,000 points and see if I get the 5,000 points back and I'll post it on the community tab here on YouTube either way whether I do or don't we'll see how that goes so I'll take one for the team and use 3,000 points how about that so that is that I hope that was clear I will try to type it out in the comments for you to make it make sense long story short spend deals and using points to pay can be very confusing in theory, this should have been a no-brainer, easy peasy. I had $20 total in coupons. That is my currency. So I spent $20 out of my pocket and I was using my points for my remaining balance, period. I did not get the 5,000 points back. According to the customer service, if I would have only used 3,000 points, I would have got back the 5,000. So I'm going to go and try this deal again and I'll post it on the community tab and we will see. So again, I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It has been working for quite some time. I just personally believe with all the hiccups that we have been having with Walgreens, all these random coupons they have been giving us, percentage off, X amount off your baskets, etc. I personally think there, there's something going on with Walgreens that we're gonna have some change coming soon. I hope not, but my gut of gut is telling me that's probably what's going to happen. So as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments for me. I hope I broke this down to where it made sense. I will leave all the highlights in the comments for you as well. If you have any experience with doing a spin deal and using points, definitely comment down below how your experience was um, and all that jazz there. As always, thanks so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, happy couponing.